Hey there guys, Elton here in the Rosemo sector of Montreal. Gorgeous day today. September 18, 2019. Heard a jet on takeoff, but uh, I don't see him. He's already into oblivion. Yeah, what you see down there in that busy street a block away is Boulevard Pinaf. Ah, sorry, Papineau Boulevard. Excuse me. I've been walking a while here on Marquette Street. Well, well only one block. I figure since I'm walking here, unlike other times, I'm going to force myself to make a video, even though I'm not exactly feeling too copacetic lately. Still recovering from, uh, there's Belcha Street there. Still recovering from uh, the stupid fucking virus there that gave me this uh, Prickaria Prickariitis. Prickariitis? Never get it right. I never get it right. Oh god, I'm so tired of these shit boxes. They're fucking no mufflers, no exhaust, damage exhaust, damage muffler. People, they just, they don't have any money, you know? Thank you. And uh, especially where I live, like areas like this, it's just aggravating. You know? Anyway, that's the trouble with having great, great ears, great hearing. And I figure maybe we'll see an old ear too here parked somewhere, you know? Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. Beautiful day. Look at different architecture of old homes in this area, blue collar, working class sector of the city. Yes, sir. But uh, yeah, still a bit sick there. And uh, oh, actually, I might as well take this opportunity to ask you uh, if you're appreciating my videos. I know a lot of you do. And you can afford it, you could, uh, you know, you want to show your love, so to speak. You want to send 5, 10, 20, 100 bucks, five, a thousand dollars, whatever. Hey, I would really appreciate it because, uh, yeah, it's rough right now, man. The, rev the YouTube revenue has been down for a while. I'm trying harder to, to look for a job, but it's tough, man, you know. It's tough. It's a lot of fucking garbage when you're looking for a part-time. And, of course, the sales I've mentioned before from selling on Kijiji are not great. So, uh, yeah, if you want to send me something, uh, your PayPal is great. Uh, if you're in Canada, you can do PayPal or an e-transfer, which is a bank transfer. I don't know why you can't do that from the States, I guess, because of the conversion. Or, or, you know, same thing with Europe and all that. But anyway, um, my email for this is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. Elton, which is like Elton John, E-L-T-O-N. And a McFall, M-C-F-A-L-L-F, with an F, uh, McFall with an F. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate that if you can do whatever you can there because uh, it sucks. Uh, I mean, you know, I love what I do, but when you're doing it full time and the fucking cost of living keeps going up, it's a pain in the ass. It makes you go in doubt. And not only that, I think to, to add in insult to injury, as they say, uh, there's also the fact that I have to take oh, all more and more. I have to take fucking scrap all the time. These shitty scrap STM buses just, I just took fucking two of them to get there, to get here. It's just... It's just aggravating, you know, like, it, it, again, I've said it before, I said, look at this, here's another thing that's aggravating with the city, Jesus Christ, no wonder I like to fucking go to Laval or go to Longueuil or whatever, always construction everywhere, always, it's just, duh. and look at this, this is what they spend our money on, what the hell is this shit, you know, bunch of rocks in the street, they yeah, close the street for that, well, I'm gonna stifle, stifle myself before I get more angry, look at this, what is this, Jesus Murphy, Hey, I'm telling you, man, it's not a world of men anymore. And it shows, speaking of men, it shows that I have a channel that is geared to men because I think the only donation, I think I've only, I've never gotten any donations from any women, frankly. Never. So I guess what I do with people who are guys, they really feel it more. Even though, oddly enough, the, uh, the number of you chicks watching my videos have gone way up, especially with those walking videos, I imagine, specifically. I think they're like 47%, uh, you know. Uh, anyway. So, like I said, I'm not feeling great, but I felt uh, suddenly compelled to, to get, get things rolling here. Because a lot of times I'm not in the mood to do these, these videos because I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm not feeling it mentally, specifically. Not so much physically. Of course, physical equals mental. But it's just, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I have to kick myself in the ass to do it because these, these videos are very popular. It's like those Metro videos that I do. They're very popular. You know, that's why I do them uh, here now and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you though, last uh, on the weekend, you know, the weather was really crummy. It was great to see my uh, fam my family that I rarely see on the McFall side. You know, obviously I see my cousin Corey and now and then and Grant, 
but I saw my cousin Scotty, I saw my other cousins, I saw my cousin Spencer, and and more on him in a moment. My cousin, uh, my cousin um, Reese. Those guys are brothers, and they're uh, they're the uh, kids of my aunt and uncle. There, my aunt uh, Sharon, who was my father's sister, and my uncle Rob, who's got a big garage in uh, Orleans. There, big successful uh, mechanical garage or mechanics. And uh, Spencer, it's funny, he's 20, but the guy's just like me. He's totally old school, fuck. He blows me away. You know, he's playing me all these old fucking songs like America and uh, uh, not just country, but he loves the oldies, you know, like uh, rock stuff, uh, 70s, and he's tripping out on that stuff. Good looking uh, intrepid. I always like these cars. Too bad they were uh, quality, uh, me. You know, and. Uh, so it's just, there's no, it's just to me, there's not enough guys like him. They don't grow on trees, you know. It's like my friend Julian, you know, again, he's kind of old school. He's pretty old school too, but he's more into the, the more modern music and things as well. He, but, but he's old school, but Spencer, big time. Fuck, he drives like an 09 Impala. I mean, that's old. There's that old Cadillac. That means I'm on Bobian Street. I'm at Bobian Street, I should say. There's that 81 Cadillac. seen in one or two of my videos there it's always parked there I guess the guy don't drive it too much eh? and uh, so yeah Spencer if you see this man hats off to you buddy you stay golden stay old school man always contact me if you have any questions regarding these old cars because he dreams of owning an Impala and then I showed him a I, something I showed him an ad on Kijiji I said dude look here's a picture of a 67 Biscayne and a Biscayne, you could have bought it in the old days, a Biscayne or a Bel Air, which was a strip, stripper version, a cheaper version of an Impala. And and you can get one you know, because it's worth less and get one for a deal. There was one there, like I said, I showed him for like, uh, it was beautiful, dark red, new paint at a big 350 or whatever. Like six grand, I'm like, you know, hey, I mean, that's not expensive, you know, for a classic American car. What the hell is this? <laughs> uh, you know, but... Uh, so he's, uh, I got him more um, interested because I told him, I said, that's the trouble with these old cars. The prices have fucking skyrocketed just in the last uh, 10, 15 years. And, and it's just, it's not good for the younger guys like him who have dreams of owning an, an old car, let alone an American car, uh, a real classic American car, you know, because uh, the prices are just through the roof. Fucking 30 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand. It's crazy. Look at the difference in architecture here, right? It's kind of interesting. Look at this side of Marquette here. You got these old buildings. Look about as old as my place. 19 teens, 20s, and so forth, 30s. Then you got these here, semi-detached. Look like they were built... Uh, I don't know. They look like they were modernized. I'd say 60s, probably 60s. 50s, maybe 50s. I don't know. But... Uh, so uh, yeah, it's great. It's always great when you meet when I meet uh, younger people who are really into the old shit like I am because it's more normal for me because I'm older. I'm 40. You know, I'm 40, sorry, I'm 43. And um, but that's one cool thing about the McFalls is that all the McFalls, all of them, even though they're into the new stuff, music, whatever, they're nostalgic. They're all nostalgic. It's beautiful. Nostalgia reigns supreme. Lots of great trees on the street. I didn't mention it. Eh? Speaking of like 50s, 60s there. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna film this for. Like I said, I'm not a. I'm still in fucking recovery mode from this stupid. Uh, let me see if I can get it right. I knew it makes for a better image walking more slowly too, eh? Seriously. Pericreitis. What the fuck is wrong with me? I can never get it right. It's like there's too many syllables. I feel like a moron. Ah. <sighs> uh. I am not perfect. Here, how'd you like to have one of these places, eh? I like that awning. Yeah, couldn't be very expensive, you know? Come on, you have no, no fight. It's as dark as my place. It's, it's single level. Oh, was it that woman that smelled bad like that? That walked by me? I gotta get something to eat. I wanna get a little snack somewhere. Here's a place for sale right here, Avendre. If you don't know what Avendre means, you're not too fucking bright, I'll tell you right now. And I'm not going to say anything, just Google it. That's where I, what I say for a lot of things, I don't have to fucking explain anything. Was that guy wearing a Via Real hat to look like it? Maybe he was a Via Real employee. Hey, look at this. 
That's nice. Nice infinity. Alex, is that your car, buddy? That looks like it. My friend Alex, the truck driver, the one who gave me this Peterbilt hat, see? I don't know why I took it off. I could have just turned the camera on. I don't know. Maybe I look kind of like a dork with it. Fuck, you know, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I decided, the uh, last moment, as I often do my decisions of what my daily activities, that I was not going to go too far away today. Since again, like I said, I'm in recuperation mode here still for crying out loud. I was so much better on Friday. I went down to Longueuil, you know, and I filmed this for, you know, this long walk on Curie Poirier, the emergency vehicle responding. I filmed an old Bonneville, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, but then even the next day I went to the chalet and I was feeling kind of pretty tired actually, frankly. And then I didn't sleep well over there because I never sleep well at that chalet because I try to sleep in the basement in this room with these bunk beds with my cousins. It just, I can't do it. It's just, just can't do it every year now. So next year, that's it. I don't fucking care if I crash on the ground. I'm not sleeping with those, with my cousins in the goddamn room anymore. I don't know. I need to be myself, me, myself and I. Just like everything else in life, you know? Look at that old, off, typical fucking vintage office chair. Yeah, just like that school teacher's chair at her desk, you know? And now we're at saint -Zatik. Oh, we might as well go another block, I guess, eh? Yeah, this is where my asshole friend used to live there. Fucking jerk off. Nice stop there, asshole. Fucking prick. Jeez, you know, there's a fucking stop there. Nobody likes to stop in the city, eh? Seriously? Like, nobody has any fucking patience in this city. It's fucking maddening. That's another reason why I get tired of fucking living in this burg. People are so impatient. It's just, it's so annoying. God forbid they should stop. I, I almost thought of Austin many times of making a video so just like that. Just people not stopping at stop signs, you know. People call it, look, look. People call that an American stop, right? Look at this fucking crap. American stop. I don't know. You know, look, if you're an American and you've heard of that expression, you tell me what your thoughts on that because, I don't know, it's just the more I think of it, the more I'm not sure it makes sense. It looks like an excuse, really. American stop. Of course, it's funny because if I were riding at somebody with their, in their car, I probably wouldn't even notice that shit too much. Look at this building. Speaking of noticeable, oh, my God. Hey, that's one of a kind, eh? Seriously? Very noticeable. The UFO is in space. could probably see that fucking thing. Holy mackerel. Well, I'm sorry to say we have not seen any oldies. No, 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 no. So I don't know if I mentioned it. This neighborhood is literally a north, just north of Montreal, uh, just north of where I live in Oshelaga. So it's, you know, it's still old, but maybe it's a bit newer. Yeah, I noticed the Porsche. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Magic moments went to a star carry. I know Mr. Clues, if that's how I spell your name. One day maybe you'll call me and tell me how it's really pronounced. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure you know who does that bloody song. Hey, fuck the sidewalk. It's a white street. Let me see what the hell else is coming up here. Speed this up a little bit. So to speak. Fucking medication, man. They got me on ibuprofen, shilicin, uh, shilicin, or whatever. And the other one, uh, what's it called? Sandro's Pantanoff, or whatever. Fuck, I can't even remember how to fucking pronounce it. I thought I was only going to have to take this shit for two weeks. Then I look at the bottle today, and one of them says, take for three weeks. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Three weeks, man. I'm all tired often, and what's this here? Well, that's unusual. I've never seen that before in a car. I think they like Pepsi. I think they might be old school with a plate like that. What's after this now? Beaubien, Saint-Zatic, it's uh, Bélanger. Yeah, that's where I'm going to stop recording there. I'm tired of looking like a spy. No, no, I'm just kidding. But, it, you know, it's a working last neighborhood when you see all these cars. They're really just all cheap used cars, really just... Nothing special really, but I don't, I don't think I've seen any, really anything that has really uh, 
uh, got my attention going wow or anything. The only thing close to that was that Porsche Cayenne, the black one you saw a few minutes ago, and that Porsche and that uh, Ford F-150, that red pickup. That's about it. I haven't seen anything here. Uh, well, I guess this goes out dedicated to you people who live in Rosemore, or you lived in Rosemore, or better yet, you actually lived on this street, God knows when, the 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, you, 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 you know what I mean, or you visited your auntie, or you visited your fucking grandfather, or mother, or whatever, whatever the, whatever the case, you know, that's what I'm here for, I'm a drug dealer, a dealer of nostalgia, too much so even, that's why it's hard for a guy like me to change, you know. Look at that. Okay, now we're talking. Look at beautiful color on that Beamer. I've seen a few of these this color. Beautiful color. I guess it's a 5 Series. I guess. Oh, yeah, I'm getting hungry. I have to stop and get some kind of snackage. I'm so poor lately. I don't even have 100 bucks in my name right now. Still living in overdraft. I have like, what, maybe 100 bucks? No, maybe close to 100 bucks in my name. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, hoping uh, sales will pick up more, but I did sell some things, so it wasn't, uh, hasn't been a total write-off this month, but still, what can I tell you, man, you know? What can I tell you, man? I hear a truck idling. Oh, yeah, there it is. What is that truck idling? Fucking Hino. Hino? No, it's uh, Western Star, I think I saw earlier. Oh, there's a metro here. How oh, interesting. Well, that's about it, guys. As, uh, as uh, Bugs Bunny would say, uh, bree, 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 that's all, folks. And uh, again, like I said, if you love what I do and you got some cash to spare since I'm a poor man. and uh, Actually, speaking of which, would you believe I Googled my retro old school name yesterday and I couldn't fucking believe what I saw there's actually two or three websites that are actually showing my average revenue believe it or not unbelievable I, I it's interesting they figured it all out by the hits and the, I, I just like holy shit man so uh, yeah yeah google my name you'll see how, how it's true one says I average between I don't know a dollar and 800 I'm like well right now like I said last month's revenue was like uh, I got paid fucking uh, what was it again? I think like 500 bucks, somewhere around there, like 502 or some ridiculous thing. It doesn't even pay the rent. Fuck, fucking rent alone is like, fucking rent alone is like, uh, well, not like it's 685. Everything going up? Not my pay. And maybe I should have done like I thought about doing with my YouTube partner. If you guys see this, how about give me a fucking raise for Christ's sake? I've been doing this for like, I've been with you guys since 2014, man. That's five years. It's going more on more than that. Anyway, whatever. I appreciate it, though. But I'm sure you won't. Anyway, so that's it, guys. Uh, take it easy, and bye-bye. Uh,